Welcome all summon. just got a quick video here and a few really interesting sources for you. We're speaking today about the famous dragon head on the Viking ships. Uh, what was it for and why was it a dragon? Why not something else? Well, as usual, it has a much more spiritual purpose than most of you already know. Uh, so some of you might have saw the video I did earlier in the week about the Neathstung, and a Neathstung was basically a curse that was used by putting a horse's skull on a pole, and this would scare the land spirits into doing something for the person um, uh, creating the curse like it was done in Egil Saga. And now the dragon head on the front of the Viking ships is the exact same thing. It's a scary little figure that is made in order to frighten the land spirits. One of the earliest laws recorded in Iceland says that it was not allowed to sail into the country with the dragon head showing as they would terrify the land spirits if they were showing. Icelandic law is the only still existing source, but I'm sure all Scandinavian countries and maybe all pagan places around Europe had similar views at one point in time. Now the dragon head could be covered up or more often actually removed, and this lines up with the archaeological evidence. Uh, very many of the actual dragon heads that we have found in the archaeological digs are detachable. The Ursabatic ship had four of them buried with it, and they were all detachable, so they could be taken off and put back on whenever needed. So it absolutely seems like the Norse did believe this, actually. Um, so when you're sailing into battle, or in a raid in England or wherever, you put the dragon head on the prow of the ship to scare away the spirits who are protecting that land. So of course the Vikings can come in and take the victory. Now if you're sailing back home, back to your home country, you take the dragon head off of course because you don't want to frighten the land spirits of your own country. Uh, now, what are the land spirits, you may ask? Well, that's a long subject for another video, but to sum it up really quickly, they are powerful spirits residing in the land with the main function of protecting the land or even the whole country. A uh, very good description of the land spirits comes in Olav Tryggvason saga, where uh, King Harald Bluetooth actually has a wizard friend who shapeshifts into a whale to get a tactical view of Iceland before they plan to invade it. And he sees that Iceland is protected by four very powerful land spirits on the north, south, east, and west coast. And uh, we have other stories similar to this where the land spirits are being very, very powerful protectors of the land that even massive armies feared. So the question is, if the land spirits are so powerful that even the kings and big armies feared them, why are the spirits scared of a little carved dragon head like this? Or, you know, why are they scared of a horse's head on a stick? Well, we have to remember that land spirits don't have eyes like we humans do. The way spirits uh, perceive things in the world is different than we humans perceive things. We humans see a horse's head on a stick, or a carved dragon head on a boat, and the land spirits may see something actually resembling a very ancient dragon. We humans today don't believe dragons exist in our world, but dragons uh, exist in the spirit world maybe. Humans have always known this all over the world, they have believed this, and we have tales about dragons or serpents from cultures, really cultures, who have no connection at all and never even met each other through trade or anything, and they're all speaking about dragons in some, some way. So that's what I think, these are just my ideas by the way, this last part, but Dragons could be different uh, beings in other dimensions. Uh, we are not able to see them with our human eyes, but the land spirits can see them, and the land spirits fear these dragons. This is a perfect example of something called sympathetic magic or imitative magic. You know, disguising your boat as a dragon in order to control the spirits or the universe around you in some way. There's a great book about these types of things called The Golden Bow, and I'll link that below. But um, who knows, those are just my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. What do you think about dragons? Uh, also note that the dragon heads on ships and the Neathstung, they're also referred to in Old Norse as Hufuth, meaning head, or sometimes uh, Skiphufuth, meaning a ship's head. Uh, interestingly enough, 
that word Hufbuth is the name of the sword that the Norse god Heimdall uh, has. Uh, so there might be some connection there. Let me know your thoughts. That's why I make these videos, so we can compare ideas and figure out the lost beliefs of our people. But well, that's all for this video. Vi ses nästa gång.